I thought everybody knows what a crate digger is, but nobody actually does it anymore because it's all online. And crate digging's totally understood with vinyl, but nobody crate digs CDs anymore. And I thought for posterity, here, I'm going to show you one crate digging session of a bunch of CDs. So it starts with French soundtracks from the late 60s. New Jersey Kings, soul jazz, funky, groovy stuff. Jimmy McGriff, electric funk. This guy is sort of like, he's from Mexico, Zapatsi. He's a little bit like, uh, awesome. Flannel Attractions, they're a band out of Jackson Hole, Bluegrass, you can see. Hey, why is a homicide investigation and a banjo case the same? because they're both better when they're closed. No, I'm kidding. Ennio Morricone, epic master, the mission, pretty epic. Soundtrack as well, Placebo, not the stupid 90s band. This is a, from the 70s, I think he's Norwegian, and it's so groovy. There's a couple more in here. Beat at Cinecetta, just like I like French soundtracks, I love Italian soundtracks. Actually, this is what I'm all about. Dig it. Yeah, Cinesex, dig it. Exploitation films, you love it. Amy Winehouse at the BBC. Of all people who kill themselves, this is the most tragic of like 20 years. That's true. Trojan Rare Groove box set. I dig me some Blue Note Rare Groove, but Trojan did a good time also. Van Cleburne, go on YouTube right now and look up this uh, Rachmaninoff Concerto Piano number uh, two. Uh, Cleburne is uh, epic in this. I think he's like in his early 20s. Clyburn, whatever. Ah, uh, Jare, Oxygen. This is a very famous synth recording that is sort of epic. Grant Green Alive. I don't even have to talk about Grant. That guy's bonkers. Okay, here we go. Afrocubism. Oh my goodness. Just look it up. Look it up right now. What's the label? Produced by Nick Gold, none such. World, wow. Man, some old tracks. This is some remix toots, no big deal. I have this on vinyl, never had it on CD. Time to catch up. Ziggy Stardust, David Bowie, some more placebo. These are really rare and um, unfortunately really expensive. Women in Lounge, volume two. I waited like 10 years to buy it after volume one. It's pretty good, except I have most of the stuff on vinyl. Yeah. Uh, Carl Orff, Carmina Burana. Oh, you don't think you know this? But you do. This is in almost every car commercial or any epic horror film. Think, da, da, da. Well, I won't do that properly. More Amy Winehouse because it's Amy Winehouse. That's all. Eddie Vedder, Into the Wild. This guy has had such a musical arc. It's amazing. I'm not saying he's the best, but he's pretty amazing for people that have lasted 20 years. Come on. Blue Mitchell? Yeah, you down with it. Dorothy Ashby's Afro Harping is not only seminal, it's all the other words people use when they want to talk about an epic album. James Horner, Glory, with the Harlem Bo Boys Qu Choir. This, this is just epic. Also, more placebo. You get it. Come on, Gene Harris and Jack Duff. That stuff's funky. You can't say blues when it's all funky. Rock Steady. This is the Trojan Rock Steady uh, comp. And it is awesome, because I spent like 15 years collecting all these tracks. I could have waited 15 and just had them all in here. Yeah, Felt Mountain, you want to get a little IDM down tempo, whatever the hell you want to call a genre, but uh, she needs to get an operation. Yep, some more Morricone, Hamlet. I have all his legit Italian stuff, didn't have his major works of, like, pop. And then, let's end with... Subtract because you know that guy's awesome like Trent Moeller or heck even Diplo's Major Lazer. I mean, there's some fun stuff out there right now. Oh Okay, anyway, and then also you see, you know, this ain't no joke. We got crate digging of a uh, Italian lounge We got bossa nova. We got some hip-hop. We got some fella and we got the trusty old turntables up in this. But anyways, I thought that'd be fun for posterity. Nobody looks at CDs, so that was probably the best CD pile anyone's ever put together in like 20 years. I mean that. Think about it. Probably the best pile of CDs in 25 years. Bye-bye.